As you probably see, with this distiller you get two condensers. Well, both of them can work as a reflux condensers. And for the collection by liquid management, you only need uh, a stand for the product cooler and the product cooler, because you already have a roller well. Just let me show you how easily you can turn it. So you just tie the lock, install this holder at the place you like and add product cooler. And that's it, you can change the reflux condenser uh, to this the bigger one and there's going to be a better water economy. Yeah, so this one is good, but if you're going to go for adding both of them on the top, it's going to be even better. Just remember about the height of your room and that's going to be it. And as you see, uh, pretty easy. You can change the packing to the SPP and get really, really neutral product if you need so. Yeah, there's a plenty amount of smell, uh, pretty strong smell of acetone and bad stuff which is coming from that. I got used to these different smells after seven years of distillation, so sometimes I do make like strange face, oh my god, it smells so bad, I just need to show people that uh, there's like <laughs> bad stuff is coming when you're taking heads off. So I closed the roller valve and I've collected how much is that? almost 500 milliliters, so it's a quart of heads. Right now I need to add silicone for the product collection and add vessel or small jar. So I added just a little bit water to my system because we increased the power up to 2.2 kilowatt and at this moment you just need to understand what you're aiming for if you are a distiller which is running this kit. If you're looking for the pure product, neutral spirit and uh, fine moonshine which you're able to drink right away after dilution and uh, when it's going to rest for a little while, then it's better to regulate the still and aim for the stable temperature of no return over here. And the temperature is going to be about the boiling temperature of ethanol. Uh, at this moment I have 77.7 .7 degrees. And also remember that depending on the atmospheric pressure you have, the temperature of no return over here is going to be different each time from day to day so you don't have to aim to the temperature uh, which you had a few days ago or month ago it's going to be different each time the same is in the liquid management and vapor management columns so uh, right now i have 77.7 70.6 and i'm aiming for the neutral product but if you are looking for the product which has to have flavor and taste then it's pretty easy. You reduce the amount of water to your reflux condenser, so you're reducing reflux, yeah, more vapor is coming through your system to the product condenser and you're receiving more flavor and taste. Uh, sounds pretty easy, but uh, it's not a pot still. Yeah, you can turn this still in a pot still, but just by turning off the reflux, if you like so. There is some distillers in Russia who likes this setup so because you're able to uh, got the really pure heads and then close the reflux so there's not nothing coming from the <laughs> this deflagmator and adjust the power and you will receive more flavor from your interesting mash interesting low wines which are made from for example grapes fruits corn or molds anyway so 
It is nice kit, but I do not recommend this for the beginners. Uh, it is tricky. Cooling management systems are very popular on commercial distilleries because they are able to regulate by uh, some solenoids, some automatic, and they do have really stable parameters with the power and with their water supply. We, as home moonshiners, very often do not have a like very stable water supply and that's why this still might be a little bit tricky to begin a cooling management system is really fine but it has to be balanced for the beginners we do recommend buying a small reflux stills for example uh, cooling management reflux stills for example t500 is a great unit but it's not modular so if we were looking for our equipment i would recommend one and a half inch cooling management distiller which is Stillman 400. If you're looking for the small budget, the Stillman variant. We have two videos about the still. It's, it's a great one and you're still able to receive 90% ABV alcohol from the small unit. Uh, it doesn't, it's not too big and you're able to put it just on your oven. And let's have a look what ABV and what speed of collection we have. Let's change cylinder because there's not a lot of it. It's probably 12 milliliters. Yes, I was right. It's 12 milliliters, so my 60. So it's only 720 mils an hour, and it's really, really slow. So I'm gonna increase that. So, to get maximum performance with this packing, the standard packing, which is stainless steel mesh and there's like six, six rolls of them, uh, we can increase the power up to 2.5 kilowatt, maybe 2.7 actually. Then increase water, yeah, so a lot of power, a lot of water. Then I will need to regulate the speed of liquid so I need to put much more to the reflux and a little bit less to the condenser to the product condenser yeah and this point you have to look for the temperature if it's rising too much then uh, you need to adjust more water but actually right now everything stays stable yeah the speed of collection is increased we have 2.7 2.8 kilowatt of power so let's have a look at the performance after the correction Oh yeah, it's absolutely nicely clean. So let's see, we got 30 milliliters in a, in a minute, which is 1.8 liter an hour. So it's about half a gallon in an hour, which is pretty good. Let's check the ABV of the product. And it's just so in a parrot we have 93, but as we all know, parrot's a little bit smear. Yeah, 93 ABV over here as well. Every new heartbreak hurts a little more. Every new heartbreak hurts so much more. 
So truly, according to the proper temperature, we got 92.4 ABV uh, and it's pretty good result with this packing and this speed, but this is almost maximum performance, so you probably won't aim for these numbers. And if you just add packing, it will be just much more easier to receive uh, almost same amount of alcohol in an hour with the same amount of power. Actually, amount of power is going to be less. It's going to be 2.3 kilowatt. But this is for another topic. Anyway, uh, temperature in the column is stable. Yeah, 77.7 degrees. In Fahrenheit, everything is very very good and the one thing I have to mention about this setup is that amount of alcohol in your collection yeah is going to be falling down the amount of spirits the amount of the amount of alcohol is going to be less and less uh, due to amount of spirits in your boiler and the uh, ABV is going to be dropping down so just be aware of that if the column is stable up to the point when you get to the tails uh, it, the parameters are still be stable the benefit of uh, these setups uh, which are cooling management stills is that you're able to add gin basket and flavor any product you have just by one run for example if you're doing like sec single distillation of something interesting and you're able to add botanicals or something you want in a gin basket and run this stuff just how you like. And we have a video about the setup with the gin basket and also we used SPP packing inside of the extension. So have a look over there. The link is going to be in that angle. <laughs> Column is stable, 77.7, sometimes it's 77.8, so jumping only for one, 0.0 degrees, and it's not a lot, it's, it's fine. Power is absolutely the same one, 2800 watts, and in the boiler temperature 90 degrees Celsius, so almost like 91. And I already started feeling product has changed. All of that happened because of mesh packing inside of this extension and uh, also I got sugar mesh or sh sugar low wines. There's nothing to save and I already started feeling something daily which I would not add to the uh, jars with a fine product. So. All of that which is coming from right now I'm gonna put in a faint and distill uh, some other time again maybe using Stillman X 3 inch distiller and receive uh, great spirits anyway uh, right now I'm not going to make product uh, with a high proof so I probably will close a little bit of reflux condenser so we'll reduce the amount of liquid to this unit and let the vapors with ethanol come through the vent and condensate in the product condenser. So the result is actually pretty good and uh, let's have a look at that. So here we are, over here 3 liter, full jar, full vessel 
and over here maybe 200 milliliters and yeah this this one is also absolutely clean one as this one but as i said over there uh, the product has changed and i already feel uh, something which is not supposed to be in these jars so i will leave it for another one and that's gonna be fine for me for some other distillers uh, that product is also fine so what i'm trying to say that we all different and uh, some of us can say that this product is fine and <laughs> let's dilute it but not not for me i'm gonna leave it for another time anyway uh, the result is good one and uh, as you see the distiller is fully modular and you're able to add anything you like add gin bag and change packing add another devices and items to the distiller and turn it into another still like liquid management vapor management uh, something different use the parts where you like to and uh, it's two inch so it's pretty common standard size and you're able to install any equipment you like uh, also install the reducer and change to something different so i would not really recommend the still for the beginners because it's a tricky distiller uh, there's a lot of things you you have to regulate and you have to carry about for example water temperature uh, water flow rate the power and if something is changing the whole process is changing it's not easy <laughs> for the beginners it's better to look for liquid, liquid management vapor management or ccvm like jess is using in his videos still it uh, it's absolutely fine still and you're able to easily regulate it just like a vapor or liquid management anyway i hope you like this video if you got any questions about our equipment or you want to ask anything feel free to leave a comment or write us directly we'd be glad to answer all your questions don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you next time happy distilling